And some good news for breast cancer patients. New guidelines issued this afternoon say patients with early stage disease should all get a new test. Now, this test can identify who can safely avoid a toxic treatment. Veronica De La Cruz joins us with that story. Veronica? Yeah, Liz, many breast cancer patients undergo chemotherapy after surgery to avoid the risk of the cancer coming back. But now, a new test can tell whether or not women can skip the chemo. Nikki Durlester was diagnosed with early stage invasive breast cancer in 2009. She had surgery. Clinically, she should have gotten chemotherapy. Human nature is to throw everything in the kitchen sink at cancer. But her doctor examined Nikki's tumor with a new gene test called a mammoprint. The test analyzes the molecular biology and not the stage of the cancer. The results found Nikki could safely skip the chemo. We can get a genetic typing of your actual cancer, the biology of yours. Now the American Society of Clinical Oncologists has issued new guidelines saying mammoprint should be used in all women with early stage invasive disease. So I'm actually really happy that this now becomes available. Dr. Laura Vandeveer of UCSF helped invent the mammoprint. She and Dr. Laura Esserman, director of the UCSF Breast Cancer Center, say that the test can help one in four women with early stage cancer avoid chemotherapy. Now we have a tool that allows us to say, you know what, you have an extremely low risk for recurrence at all. So this cancer isn't going to kill you. You don't have to be so fearful. As for Nikki, she remains cancer free. I'm grateful that other women will have the, and men will have the same opportunity. Now, Dr. Esserman and her team just published a new study on the mamma print. It found women with ultra-low risk breast cancer may safely skip therapies like tamoxifen, which is also routinely prescribed after surgery.